Today we're going to talk about tables in HTML5 and learn how to properly arrange the formatting of the tables. So let's get started. Welcome back. So let's start by answering that what is actually a table. HTML table is the arrangement of data that allows developers to arrange data into rows and columns. The table tag defines an HTML table. Each table row is defined with a TR tag. Each table header is defined with a TH tag. And each table data is defined with a TD tag. By default, the text in TH elements are bold and centered while the text in td elements are regular and left aligned. So let's jump to our code editor and see how it works. In tables we have table tag which is the main tag. Inside the table tag we have all other tags like table head tag and the remaining table rows tag and inside the table row tag we have table data tag. Now I'm gonna tell you how to use them. The table head tag is by default the bold and it comes in a column format. You can understand what I mean. First I write in table heading as first name. Then you can set the last name. Or you can make a heading of maybe gender. Then we write table row tag. The table row tag comes in a row. Inside the table row tag, we have table data tag. Inside table data tag, I write the first name, maybe Jimmy. Then I write the last name, which is Smith. Then I write its gender, which is male. You can make one or two rows depending on you. I just copy and paste it two more times. Here I replace Jimmy with Amy Jackson. Sorry, Jackson is the last name. And change its gender to female. Then I change it to John and maybe John Henry and, and it's already male. Now let's save it and see how it looks in our browser. So that's how a table looks in our browser. Now that's just a basic of table. You can do a lot of other things with tables. Here I can provide the borders to the table. I set it to 5. You can set it to 1, 2 or anything you want. I save it. Refresh the browser. Now we have a good border around the table. Now one more thing I want to tell you about the call span. If I write there call span and set it to 2, sorry right in there, set it to 2, that mean, means that Jimmy data cover 2 columns now. Save it and now refresh the browser, you see Jimmy covers 2 columns and that's how call span works. Now one more thing I want to tell you is about the caption tag. The caption tag comes after the table tag. Here you write the caption and inside that you can say that student data. And it is the caption of the table. Save it and see now we have a very good caption above the table. Till now we know everything about the table. But I told you that we have to cover the formatting of the table. Right now. It doesn't look so good, it's unformal. So let's make it formal. Remember the caption and the th tags always comes in between t heading, which is the head of the table. Now everything else comes under t body, which is table body. Place it at the end of the table. Now save it. You can see it doesn't make a big difference to your browser but it makes our code now readable and formal. That's all for today. 
Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next lecture.